Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. What everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I wanna come and talk to you guys about a really strange story. Let me first say I've never heard of this man, never heard of his daughter, until people started tagging me all over Twitter and on Instagram, people wanted me to talk about this. So I started investigating more into the story. It's about a man named Benny Harlem. And I guess supposedly he went viral a few years ago for having like the tallest um, high top fade. And then he introduced the world to his so-called daughter. And people are saying this is not his real daughter at all. And supposedly him and his daughter have this massive amount of hair. I mean, the hair just looks so huge. And he posts all these pictures of him and his daughter's hair on social media. Now, maybe I'm just a, you know, skeptical type person. But I'm sorry, these pictures look fake as fuck, okay? And this is coming from somebody who has real long natural hair. Don't let this damn wig fool you. When this wig comes off, my shit comes down to here, okay? You guys have seen me take the wig off and show y'all my natural hair. Something about this father and daughter duo just does not sit well with me. This entire situation is just making me give him the side eye, okay? So it's one thing to lie and wear Marley hair and claim that it's your hair and even make into the Guinness Book of World Records. That's not even the part that's really disturbing about this situation. From what people are telling me is that this year he decided to sell his own hair kits. Being that people kept asking him, how do you grow your hair out? I want long, luxurious hair. I want long hair. So he decided to sell these veggie hair kits. And legitimate websites like Curly Nikki even reported that this man sold out in 59 seconds of these veggie hair kits, okay? So when people started receiving these kits, they're like, well, damn, what is... This just looks like some shit I could get at the grocery store. And people started investigating and literally his same kits are literally items that are at the grocery store, like maple syrup containers and olive oil bottles. And he's basically slapped his own label on these items and he's calling them veggie kits, okay? But the crazy thing is these kits are not, you know, 10, 15, 20, even 50 bucks. I would just be like, okay, whatever, you guys got scammed by this moron. But the thing that's really disturbing is that his kits are selling for upwards of $400. He even had the audacity to make a post on Instagram saying that he was willing to give people $100 off of the kit. I'm like, $100 off of the kit? Well, how much are the damn kits? They go from anywhere from two to $400 depending on the kit that you buy. And all of these kits literally have his labels slapped onto products that he's gotten at Ralph's and Aldi's and everything else. So right now people are pissed. Their entire page is dedicated to his scams on Instagram, on Twitter, on various other websites. There are people even admitting like, you know what? I paid $200. I thought my hair would grow long. I bought this in August. It's done nothing for my hair. You know, this is really disturbing that this man is getting away with this.
And now here goes the true tea, okay? Let me show you a picture of this little girl. This was her not even two years ago, okay? Please explain to me how this little girl goes from having these little small pigtails, she barely has 10 inches of hair, to now having all this massive hair. Hair does not grow that fast in less than two years. Look at the picture. Now what's even sadder is that people are saying that he's not the little girl's biological father, but for some reason he keeps kissing this little girl on the lips. Now the little girl's mother is now involved in this so-called alleged scam. They're saying now she's walking around with the same massive amounts of hair as the so-called husband, baby daddy, and her daughter, okay? So they're saying that the little girl's mother is now involved as well. And then he's also done things like telling his audience that, you know, he would pay people's rent for the next five months to help people who are struggling. And he got a lot of personal information from people, supposedly supposed to pay their rent. And then the day he was supposed to pay their rent and help them out, he then goes on to social media and claims that he got bit by a viper. Where the fuck did he find a viper to get bit from? Like vipers aren't just, you know, roaming the streets. Like where the hell are you at in the woods of Africa? Like what the hell is this? So he's claiming he's in the hospital, you know, due to a viper bite. And people are even saying that the hospital picture looks shady, that something doesn't seem authentic about it. So I don't know. I've never heard of this guy. I just want to bring this to people's attention because I do have a platform and I don't want to see black people scammed. And the thing that bothers me about this is that you have people who have products that can help grow your hair, who have products that have been proven. As you guys know, I sell my hair and nail tea. I also sell a skin tea, a wellness and digestion tea. We also have people like Hairfinity and, you know, other, you know, sites that have products that have been tried and tested. And so when I see somebody scamming, when people like me and Hairfinity and other people have put thousands, okay, into our products to make sure that they're safe, to make sure that they're genuine, to make sure that they're healthy, the person who makes my tea is a certified tea samune who is certified in making herbs and tea. You know what I'm saying? You have to pay for that type of stuff. You can't just be in your kitchen just mixing shit together, especially things that people are going to take internally and then selling it to the public because you can get in big trouble for that. Everything has to be FDA approved. I put a lot of money and sleepless nights into my products. And to see somebody literally taking his label and slapping it on somebody else's hard work, on somebody else's maple syrup jar and olive oil jar, to me is disgusting. If you want to come out with your own hair products, then you better damn well invest the money and put in the fucking work. And for him to be out here charging $200 for some damn veggie hair kits is disgusting. You don't care anything about your people. You're robbing people. This man has all types of pictures dressed in his Sunday best standing next to Bentleys and high-end cars, Photoshop waist, Photoshop pictures of his damn peen. I don't believe he's that damn packed. It looks like it's Photoshopped right along with his damn waist in this damn picture. But I don't see how a lot of y'all got fooled into thinking that was that man's real hair. Everything about him just screams scan artist. When I look at him, I see a dark-skinned male Joanne the Scammer, okay? This entire situation is a hot damn mess and I feel bad for the little girl because she's just a child. She's none the wiser. She's just following along with what her so-called father and her mother are telling her to do. But you can clearly see that that's not that child's real hair, okay? I mean, this entire situation is really unfortunate, especially when you have a lot of black people out here who do have long hair, who do have long natural hair, and then what happens? People tell us it's a weave. We're hair had at hooligans. It's not your real hair because of scam artists like this. There's plenty of black women out here like myself and many, many others who have long, healthy, natural hair who did it the right way and who didn't go out here trying to scam people out their damn money. This man should be ashamed of himself. If you guys want to read more, I'll post the Instagram links below and the Twitter links and stuff like that. There are entire threads. Now that all that stuff that he sold back in August... People are starting to come back and they're complaining. They're saying, hey, this is just regular syrup. This is just regular olive oil. It's done nothing for their hair. You know, so this man has been scamming folks. He's now on ripoff.com. So what I want to say to people is this. Be very mindful. Everything that you see that glitters is not gold. Everybody on the internet trying to sell you something ain't got no business selling shit, okay? Make sure it's people who are authentic, who are genuine. You know what I mean? 
Everything about this man's vibe just seems very, very off. And it's really sad that he was able to scam so many people out of anywhere from $100 to $500 for his products. And that's not including shipping. You know, that's really sad. And it just shows how desperate our people are, you know, because people are looking for, you know, things to make them healthy or healthy hair regimens and skin regimens and things like that. So I definitely get it. But you also have to be mindful. You also have to be, you know, very, very smart and very, very skeptical. And if something doesn't work for you, then it just doesn't work for you. But for him to be sitting here trying to sell products that somebody else done made, and then he's slapping his labels on there, that's not okay. Benny Harlem, AKA Ahmad Belvins, I'm gonna need you to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up, have several damn seats, and stop scamming your people, and stop putting that little girl in harm's way. Y'all got her scamming folks. Y'all got little girls looking up to her, trying to look like her, trying to emulate her, wanting their hair to look like that only to find out both y'all ain't got nothing but a bunch of damn Marley hair hanging out your damn head. Are you, are you ticklish? Me? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> this entire situation is just really disturbing. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Benny Harlem and his alleged scamming of people on social media for these veggie hair kits that cost from anywhere from $100 to $500. And then also, how do you guys feel about this situation? How do you guys feel about these pictures? Can you tell that these pictures are photoshopped or am I just going crazy? I don't see how people thought this was real. I don't even see how Guinness World Records thought this shit was real. This entire situation is a hot mess. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Next day! <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.